Hey everybody. Hi. In this video, mom is going to show us how to make homemade guacamole with what do, what do all you need to do this job? I need two avocados. Okay, two ripe avocados, which means they're squishy, right? Yeah, ma make sure that they feel soft when you buy them. If not, Whoops. you have to wait a couple days. Yeah. Which we did. We gotta have them soft. Then you need some two small tomatoes. Two small tomatoes? Yeah. There's one. The other one is over here, but it's a little bit bigger, so that's okay. okay. I'll just use it. While you're telling them that, I'll go, get, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, well, I won't do that. We'll just use this bowl right here, and then I can put it in the Tupperware later. Make sure when you buy it that there's always got the thing on the back. What's that thing? The belly button? The I branch. Guess. That's the branch, right? Where, the, where it was growing on the tree. Yeah. Okay, you, you that's part of the branch. Off now, Why is that? That way germs can't get in. Oh, oh, really? If you buy it this way, it doesn't get any germs. I had no idea. Getting in there. Okay, so all right. Well, we got those off. You did a good job. You bought. All right. Well, I didn't know I did the good job. I know you didn't. Right in the middle okay. of time. As soon as I start recording, somebody's going to text message me. Yeah. Yep. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Salt. Worcestershire. Salt. Chopped and some garlic. Onions. You need how much chopped onion? How, tell, tell them how much of each of one what? One and one tablespoon of lime or lemon juice. Okay. One teaspoon of salt. Okay. One and a half teaspoons of onions finely grated. Okay. But that's okay because I've made it that way before. It'll be fine like that. Two small tomatoes chopped. Yeah, let's not try to get, try not to get the skins in there because I don't like those skins. Worcestershire sauce. A couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Three or four. That calls for a clove of garlic. Which and a we're garlic not gonna, powder. We're, we're just going to use, use garlic powder because we don't want to go. Doing a clove of garlic is pretty tough. It's hard, ain't it? Yeah. That's, that's a good choice. I'm saving those for deer meat anyway. I got two of them over there. I'm going to save that for my next deer roast. So, what do you do? I'm cutting the, around. Cut it around that because there's a thing in the middle, right? Right. A seed, so you cut it in half around that. Okay. I've seen this done sometimes on TV before. All right. We don't want the seed. Well, if you put it in the backyard. Well. No, let's not. I don't eat avocados enough to grow a tree, and they would all go to waste if it if it did decide to grow. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'd have them all over the ground, and I don't think squirrels will eat them. Be careful, don't cut that finger. So you gotta try to take that out of it. Why don't you use the spoon to scoop her? Oh, there you go. Folks, let me check my text message. We'll be right back. Take an intermission. All right. all right, folks. Now, what you gonna do? Scoop all that out, right? Scoop that out into the bowl here. Uh, leave the skin behind. Yeah. Correct? Mm-hmm. You don't want that. Oh, I can't hold the camera today. What's wrong with you? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not used to doing this camera. This is a, a new camera. It's very little. It's very little. Little. It's a GoPro 9 folks were using for this. And it is very little. I'm trying to get a good point of view so everybody can see not just the camera but also you look they said that was metal that's not metal what that what? that magnet's not sticking to that that's plastic that must be plastic oh crap whatever it don't we matter we paid a hundred dollars for plastic for a plastic faucet faucet <laughs> let's see about this part that part oh it's stainless steel that must be real stainless because magnet won't stick to real stainless. I don't believe. Whatever, I don't know. Anyhow, we get all that scooped out of there. You don't want that. What's that? In? You put the seed in there? I didn't want that there. Well, let me have it. I'll take it over here. Do not, folks, ever put that seed in your garbage disposal. 
your garbage disposal will wreak havoc. I mean, that seed will wreak havoc on your garbage disposal. Garbage disposal don't like that seed right there. It's a tough seed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Pretty hard seed. I'm gonna take that seed out of there. Go ahead. So get that dang seed out of the way. I'm just gonna set it in here for a minute. Wash my fingers. Okay. As she's doing that, you want, you want to send me the refuse? I and need, I'll, I'm going to need a fork. I forgot to. Oh, a fork? Yeah, you need a fork. Oh, well, you're forked, aren't you? To smash that. <laughs> I get it, you're forked. Yep. I'll get you one. Thank you. Yep. Oh. Okay. There's that. So you can do the same thing to the next uh, yep. avocado. Just repeat that, folks, twice, and we'll be right back. Now that you got all that out of the shells, you're just smashing it. You mash it. Mash it with a spoon or a fork. Mash it up to make it into a paste, I guess. What you're doing looks like to me. Correct? And yep. you mix the green with the yellow. Some kind of mix it up, huh? Mm hmm. Okay. Do both of them all. Do, 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 do both. Something like that. How much is this going to make? Does it say? Two plus two tomatoes. I mean, how much? Are you gonna get like a cup? One cup or? I don't know. You don't, she don't know. There's a book here, but. You've it, done it, you've seen it before. I know, but I never measured it. it out though to see how much no, it made. I never measured it out either. <laughs> so, yeah. But I love it, but you can't mm -hmm. eat it right away because it takes time. Yeah, you gotta let the flavors mingle. Let everything to mix. Right, so right. Leave, it, leave it sit overnight in the refrigerator. No, it doesn't have to be overnight. Well, it's better the next day. A few I think. hours. I think it's better the next day. All right, whatever you want. What are you going to use? What are you talking about? What chips are you going to oh, use? Oh, I got uh, Catalina Thins mm -hmm. from Tostitos, I think. Okay. The thin ones, I can't now. have too many carbs. I'll throw that in. All right, that's now you got the diced onions, yeah, or chopped onions, which it calls for how many? Just one a, and a half. One and a half teaspoons. Tees but well, you, I don't know. If it's we're putting in more. Teaspoons or tablespoons. Do you want to look? Just put you some onions in yeah. there. What we got here? Let's see, folks. Guacamole. Down that. I see. Point. I see it. Okay. Well, you don't have your glasses on. So I do too. Oh, you do. I got my glasses on. You. Two avocado pears, one tablespoon, okay. not teaspoon, one tablespoon, tablespoon of lime or lemon juice, one teaspoon of salt. I didn't have the lime or lemon juice. I had to, I had the onions. What was it? Okay, the onions is one and a half teaspoons of finely grated onions. Okay. So that's all right. We got chopped onions. It's, it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. You then mix that in. I want to mix the lemon juice. Lemon juice. Which is. Okay. You need a. Uh, are you going to need me to get you a measuring spoon or something? I got one in here. <laughs> well, well, here, I'll hold this while you get it. There you go. We forgot about that at the beginning, didn't we? Yeah. How do you like your little table I built you? I like it. That matches your countertop. I don't know why that color's on that there. That was there, because remember I found that oh. piece of table on the side of the road. Okay. Somebody was doing their fingernail polish on there before we found it. I think you're right. That's what it looks like. All right, how much lemon juice? Lemon juice calls? calls for one tablespoon. That's the big one. One tablespoon. Yep, one tablespoon. Pull that, would you? Mm -hmm. Yep. One tablespoon. Am I going to have to use garlic? Oh, stuff's falling I'd out. I'd rather use it before. Yeah, you're going to have to use garlic. It's wet. Okay, hang on. I'd rather use it before. It oh, you're going, need, you're going to need to use a tablespoon for the garlic? Mm -hmm. Good idea. One clove. It doesn't say how much. Oh. So I would just put in one tablespoon of garlic. 
Mm. That's what I would do. A tablespoon of garlic. Oh. Now I'll pull the top out of here so you can just scoop down in there and get it. It's a lot of garlic. Whoa, hold on, hold on a minute. That's a lot of garlic. Let's just go with a half. We can always add more. <laughs> I don't know how much one clove equals. Okay. So I, was, I think we were about to screw up. Now you need one tablespoon of salt. Oh. Why don't you put one tablespoon of salt? Let's do that first. No, I'm sorry, teaspoon. Get a teaspoon. Teaspoon should be over there. That should be the teaspoon over there. Yep, that'll be it right there. Did I say teaspoon? Yep. All right. Oh, that takes forever, don't it? Half of it's probably going on the floor. Mm -hmm. I should have done this over the top of the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go to a full teaspoon. Go ahead, that's good. <coughs> you should have spread it out. You didn't have to dump it all I'm at one spot. I'm gonna mix it, Ted. I know, but it would have mixed easier if you had spread it out. Okay, now you're gonna do uh, your one tablespoon of lime, lemon. Hold, oh, oh, will, will, did you shake this up first? No. Okay, well, always shake up your, where's the lid at? Always shake up your stuff first, because this has been in the refrigerator since 2008. <laughs> Not really. I shake it up because that stuff settles on the bottom. All right, we're gonna take one tablespoon of that. Let's, let's, I'm gonna put it over the top in case we spill. There you go. That's not That's, a whole tablespoon. Well, that'll be fine. That that works for me. Okay. Okay. Now, um, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. How much Worcestershire sauce do we need? It says just a few drops. Actually, folks, it says three or four canned chili peppers, chopped, or a few drops of Worcestershire sauce. We ain't got no canned chili peppers. So, we have uh, that other sauce. It's spicier. No. I would use Here. some of that. I would put Tabasco in it or something like that. It's just a few drops of this. All right. Whoa. That's a few drops. Already. That was a few drops. All right, next it's going to want tomatoes. Yeah, we want chopped. Two small tomatoes chopped. And then that's it. I guess. You that's all of it. Yep. Here, I'll mix that. I'll be mixing this while you chop tomatoes. Okay. Folks, you're going to chop some tomatoes for us. And I'm going to stir up this guacamole. This is going to be a little bit chunky, huh? Mm -hmm. Not real, not real chunky, but a little chunky. Well, it's, yeah, with the tomatoes, it will be. Oh yeah, and the onions. Yeah. Yep. But the guacamole, the, the avocado itself isn't puree. It's it's a little bit chunky. I like it a little chunky. You're gonna try not to get the skin in there? The tomato skin? I don't like that skin. Those skins don't digest very well. You're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, I'm your kid. I'm supposed to be in a lot of trouble. Not at your age. <laughs> well, I don't know. I am correct though. Those skins don't wanna digest very well. And they can give you intestinal uh, tract problems. Oh yeah, sure. I've eaten them all my life. Hey, you want me to skin them like a fish? And it never bothered me. I'll I, I skin them like a fish for you real quick. Let me see one. Watch this. Hang on. I gotta get, I'll get my own cutting board. And show you how to do it. Watch this. I'll let everybody see. You put them under hot water. No, you just for cut them. A couple them. minutes and the skin comes up right off. You just do it like this. My grandmother used Let's to see. do that. Cut it like this, long ways. Like that, so you have a smaller 
thing to work with and then just put your knife down in it like you would like that and go like that see like that mm -hmm. see how i'm leaving the skin behind yeah. Ta -da. get as close to that skin as you can just like i was doing the deer meat when i was cutting that skin off that deer meat so just like that get that skin off okay take those and you those are done you can chop them up see how i got that folks oh she can chop them up those are done now i'm gonna take this i'll show you how i do it real quick i chop that tomato into quarters take each quarter and just shoot, put my knife down in there flat and pull it on through as close as i can get to this Oop, that time i cut through the skin I think she already cut the skin off that one. Nope, see, I don't want that skin. Skin ain't no good for you, man. That skin ain't no good for you. I know, I mean, the skin, it just, it gets stuck in my throat. It's stuck in my teeth. I don't like the skin. I'm trying to get most of that skin out off of there as I can. Y'all do it how you like it though, you know. I'm just getting that skin off there. There you go. You got another tomato for me to do? Half of this one. Half of that one. Okay. Here, I'll take the sticker off. I was trying to get the stem. Oh, you're trying to get the stem out. Well, that stem's in there good, isn't it? Mm hmm Okay. And I will take the sticker off. Half of this tomato. I guess you're gonna save the other half for your salad. Yeah. Okay. Now I will more than quarter of this one. Actually, these tomatoes aren't as bad, aren't as bad when it comes to the skins as those Roma tomatoes are. So we can just ow. That hurt. On that, on the, oh, that hurt, yes. Handle. Ow. Oh, so I just oh, jammed my knee into that damn thing. Oh. Why don't you let me paint the bottom of the kitchen? I want that. You can paint the top. Okay. okay, folks, we're ready to put it in there. I'm going to show her the best way to put it in there. Stop for a second. Push your drawer in, but leave your cutting board out so your so your cutting board protrudes farther past your drawer. All right, like that. And I just push it all in like that. See, the reason we didn't go off the sides, folks, is because this cutting board has rubber on the sides to uh, keep it from moving when you're using it so now you just stir all that in real good make sure it's all mixed up together really well and cover it with a cellophane wrapper plastic wrap. Pl plastic wrap whatever and then put it in the refrigerator i would say overnight but she says it doesn't have to go overnight it can just be a couple hours or whatever until Maybe at four o'clock you could take <laughs> at four o'clock it, well, they don't know what time it is now, so you would say how many, about, about four hours? Probably four hours. Leave it sit for four hours, folks, so the flavors can mingle. And marry, what they would call marry. Once the flavors marry each other, it's good to go. And you may have to salt, salt it a little bit, or you can put you some spice in there, some uh, chili powder or whatever if you want spi spicy, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever you like. Anyhow... Folks, thanks for watching this episode of cooking. Well, we didn't really cook nothing, did we? <laughs> Not really. It's a cooking show anyhow. Thanks, for, folks, for watching Cooking with Redneck Mama. Ooh. You like it? Yeah. It's pretty good. You want a chip? Sure. Oh, let me get our chip. Folks, these are the chips that we like. These are Tostitos Catalina Thin and Crisp. They are very thin also, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. I can get a few of them out and set them on the plate on the uh, cutting board there because I'm going to try also. 
can't get a few out. Can't get a few out. Yeah. That, that looks like a few to me. Give it a shot. See how it works. Mmm. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. What you think? Does it need anything? Good. It's good? Mm -hmm. You gonna make me one? Mm-hmm. It doesn't need anything? No. Perfect, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Oops. Don't break my chip now. I want a right. I want a good one. You broke that one. You that's yours. You broke that one. Give me a real one. Don't be breaking mine. I'll do it. See folks, you're gonna break mine in half. Let me go with this one time. Mmm, -hmm. that's good. That is good. Uh, it hasn't mm. been sitting very No, it ain't sat at all. It's really good. <laughs> you want it now? You no, want no, it? no, no. I'm not going to eat it now. I just, uh, that's going to be a snack for later. Thanks, folks, for watching. Redneck Mama making guacamole. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now I know how to make it. Yeah. Mm. That's pretty easy too. That's really easy. You can sit down. And how much do you think that costs to make? Uh, two avocados and two tomatoes. How much was that? No, no. Not much. Won't cost that much. No. That's yours. You can go ahead. No more. I, we got a whole bag of them over there. You want some more? You can sit here and eat them. I'm, I got some work to do. I got to go outside and do some mm. work out in the yard. This is on the deck. I'm going to clean up some of that old wood and burn some of that trash out there that little pieces of boards, cut off boards I don't need and the stuff that, you know. From all my little projects, I got a bunch of little cutoffs and scraps that mm -hmm. are sitting near my chimney. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring my boom box out there and play some music. And You don't have a chimney. Yeah, I do. Where'd you get it? That little, Colin gave it to me, that little clay one. There's a little chimney out there. Where is it? It's sitting out there by it. that dead tree. Anyway, folks, you want to tell them goodbye? Anything? You want to Bye. say anything? Thanks for watching. See you later. You talk to them. You got to wave at them. I mean, look to them. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Folks, it ain't the next day. Well, I guess it is the next day. Hey, Siri, what time is it? It's 1.06 a.m. Yes, folks, it is the next day. And look, <laughs> my dip is delicious. Let's just give it a shot. I gotta turn that light back on over here. I've been eating, I've already been eating it. I can see it all in my mouth. Mmm. Perfect little snack. What? I'm telling you what, this is a good one here. This one turned out good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Got me some damn guacamole on a chip. Mm. <laughs> wow. Salsa and guacamole are good for your diet. Chips, not so much. But you know, I was, I was telling you how earlier, I think I made a mistake when I. Excuse me. Come here. Let me just watch it down. Uh, uh, I think I made a mistake earlier when I told you the name of my chips were Tostitos Catalina. Did I say Catalina Thins? Well, they're Cantina. Okay, Cantina, not Catalina. I don't know. I think Catalina is probably some kind of a, a city somewhere, but these are uh, Cantina, which I guess a Cantina is maybe similar to a... Uh, 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 a restaurant or a cafe, something like that. I don't know. What's your pot? What you think? A ca what is a cantina? Cantina. Put your comments below. What the heck is a cantina? This is good. I'm telling you what, man. I'm going back to the store and I'm looking for. Uh, you gotta, you gotta get avocados just right. So, man, I gotta go get some more avocados because. This shit's gonna be gone tomorrow.